Ciao a tutti and welcome to this new episode of SPN channel. In this episode we'll see what's a visual transformer and how to implement it with the Tensorflow 2 framework. I'm Vittorio and welcome to SPN channel. Vision Transformer is nothing more than a transformer applied to images. In this paper, Google research team for the first time demonstrated that with enough data and computational power, it's possible to beat the state-of-the-art convolutional neural networks at their very own game. And all this using a network that natively does not have any concept of a translational invariance or locality. But first of all, what's a transformer? Unfortunately here we don't have enough time to discuss it in the detail, but using the power of abstraction we can see a transformer and especially a transformer encoder as a building block that takes a 1D sequence as an input, manipulates it with multi-head self-attention and spits out the 1D sequence itself. But for an image, what's the sequence? This is the over-architecture of a VIT network. First of all, the input image is split in n batches of size p by p. So the sequence left is inversely proportional to the square of the batches size. Then we flatten all these batches and we linearly project them to the dimension of the model. That's a simple fully connected network applied to all batches. So the output of this step is a 1D sequence of size n, the number of batches, time d model, the dimension of the model. Finally, before feeding the transformer encoder, we process the input sequence with two distinct steps. Firstly, we attach to the sequence an extra token that will be used by the network to embed all the useful information to make the class prediction. Finally, we add a positional embedding to the sequence in order to give the model a positionality information. Indeed, in contrast to other networks like a recurrent neural network, LSTM and things like that, a transformer does not have any concept of before and after. But as in a sentence, also for an image it's important to annotate the position of a batch inside the original image and provide this information to the model. So now we can feed the transform encoder that, as I said, manipulates the input sequence with multi head self intention and embeds as much information as possible for classification into the class token. After the transform encoder, we can discard all the output sequence except the classification token, feed it into a classification head, that's simply a multi layer perceptron, and obtain the final prediction. And that's the vision transformer in a nutshell, but let's see how to implement it with the TensorFlow 2 framework. I made this notebook, as always, you can find in the description below, where you have the possibility to train a vision transformer on the old cats vs dogs dataset. As you can see from the contents, the notebook is pretty straightforward. We start importing some libraries, then we import the cats vs dogs dataset using the TensorFlow dataset library. It's very useful in these cases. And finally, we preprocess the dataset, also specifying the patches dimension 16 in this case and then we can build our vision transformer you can find all the code related to the model inside utils and then transformer here you are anyway we start uh, uh, dividing the input in, uh, in batches so for example an input uh, like this is divided in n batches of size uh, p that uh, that's the dimension that we set before. Then we linearly project uh, with, uh, with a dense layer. We add a position and embedding and a, a class token. So we can feed the transform encoder, take only the class token, and finally feed a classification head that, as I said, is simply a fully connected network. And that's all. So now we can build the, the model. Uh, compile it uh, and finally start training. 
<laughs> anyway, uh, as you will see, the results won't be so good. Um, and that's because, uh, as stated by the authors, uh, a transformer does not have nearly uh, the same priors that the convolutional neural network has, such as locality, translation invariance, um, and so it needs a lot of data and the computational power to be competitive. But what about diffusing a convolutional neural network and a transformer in a joint architecture that exploits the advantages of these two worlds? We'll see how to build this hybrid architecture and uh, improve the transformer performance on the small dataset in the next episode. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and see you for the next episode of SVN Channel.